guys, this is a quick little DIY video. Hubby made me this backboard for my recipe videos and now I'm going to mix up some stain to make it a nice deep dark color. For those of you who are wondering how he made it or what he made it out of, it's scrap spruce T&G match lumber. You can see here the tongue and groove. And he just made a skirt along the bottom and then kept it over and nailed it in all around the top and now we'll get ready to stain it. So because I'm going to be using it as a board for food, I'm going to use all food grade stain, actually all food stain. So what I have in here is some organic coffee, organic cocoa powder, and one of my favorite maritime breakfast teas and I'm going to add a little hot water and dissolve that straight from the kettle Mmm, it smells so good. <laughs> so I'm just going to let that sit there until it dissolves and it cools. I'm going to go ahead and paint it on the wood. So now that my stain is done, the next step is pretty simple. We're just going to wash it on. Now I'm probably going to let it dry in a couple of layers. I'll put it on, let it dry, put it on, let it dry and so on. So I'll probably only have to do one coat down here on this end grain because as you can see it soaks up this stain very well and the piece down below is not the end grain and it's not soaking up the stain quite as well. So I'll go over the rest of it probably three times. Just look at that gorgeous color and that's just from one coat yet so we mixed up one tablespoon of cocoa powder one tablespoon of ground organic coffee and one black tea bag and the tannins in the tea actually help preserve the wood as well and we have this absolutely gorgeous rich color with just one coat and I'm gonna let it dry completely then put on maybe a second or third coat I think I'm just gonna do two because it's very beautiful I have used this on cabinets and stairs and pretty much any kind of wood if you want to stain wood and you want to do it all organic no VOCs truly natural this is an excellent mix you can make it darker by adding a little activated charcoal, which will give it a darker, more gray tone. This mix is a nice color for kitchen wood. It's got that red undertone from the tannins in the tea. So I'll let you see it when it's all finished up. So here I am putting on coat number two. So here it is after the second coat of stain and I think that's all I'm going to do. So now that my two coats of stain are done, I'm working on a wax coat. So what I have here is hot beeswax mixed with just a small amount of coconut oil. that into the wood it starts to harden as soon as we put it on so I'll be putting on a couple of coats and buffing it in
don't want to put it on too thick. So this is going to be a little bit labor intensive, but the outcome is going to be great. So I'm just going to continue on and wax this board. So now that the board is waxed, what I'm doing now is just running a scraper along the board to remove any excess wax. And then I'm going to go ahead and buff it up. So here it is, all finished and buffed. Now, if I had an electric buffer, I could probably get a really high shine on this, but I actually like it more rustic and nice smooth surface here. Hands are suffering from the buffing. But uh, yeah, so pretty simple. Use some scrap lumber, some natural organic food to make the stain, and then just buffed it with some beeswax.